After a woman saved the life of a dog by taking it into her home, she was shocked by its behavior. Even though nothing seemed to be amiss, the dog wouldn't stop growling. Several years ago, an American woman decided to add a new member to her family by adopting a needy dog. In fact, she ended up becoming this dog's hero. There are countless shelters across the United States that are dedicated to saving animals from the streets. However, most dogs cannot spend their entire life at a shelter. If a considerable amount of time has passed and an animal still cannot find their forever home, they may end up being euthanized. The name of the dog Susie saved was Kaylee. She was a beautiful shepherd mix and was three years old, an age that some people may consider to be quite old for a shelter dog. Even people who are looking to adopt generally prefer younger dogs or newborn puppies. Nevertheless, there was another reason why it was so hard to find the right person for Kaylee. The Decal County Animal Services had an adoption list which they tried their best to promote. Even though Kaylee had been on the list for an entire year, she had no luck getting adopted. Much like many other shelter animals, Kaylee didn't have an easy time as a puppy. This rough start meant that the little dog developed some trust and attachment issues, and these were sure to impact her later on in life. In the world of animal adoption, it is common for shelter dogs to be a little more difficult to live with when compared to purebred or well-trained dogs. Bad experiences with previous owners or strangers could result in the animal developing defensive behavior. One of the ways Kaylee's trust issues manifested was that she would seem unfriendly to people who didn't know her very well. For example, if a stranger got too close to her, she would start barking at them. This hostility put a lot of people off approaching the little dog let alone trying to adopt her. In fact, almost no one was interested in bringing Kaylee home. Despite all this, one couple chose to give Kaylee a chance by fostering her for a few months. Jacqueline Berlin and Keith Santa Perum felt a lot of sympathy for the poor dog. After spending a fair amount of time with the mutt, they understood how much her past affected Kaylee. However, they didn't want her past to get in the way of her future. The couple knew how much of a sweetheart Kaylee actually was, so they turned to the internet in hopes of changing her fate. Jacqueline posted a message for introverts and shy people on her Facebook. In the post, Jacqueline tried her hardest to highlight Kaylee's key qualities in hopes of finding a potential owner with the ideal personality. One of the things Jacqueline pointed out was Kaylee's loyalty, since she wanted nothing more than to spend time with a person she really cared about. In the post, Jacqueline claimed that Kaylee would be the perfect companion for someone who preferred meaningful friendships or whose perfect evening was spent watching Netflix. Fortunately for the Shepherd Mix, Jacqueline's post was a success. As soon as Susie Chandler read the Facebook post, she wasted no time in reaching out to Jacqueline. Kaylee's tragic story pulled on her heartstrings. After hearing out what had happened to Kaylee, Susie wanted to be the person to take away all of the little dog's worries. Furthermore, Susie felt as if the dog suited her personality perfectly. It was a perfect match, explained Susie. Susie lived in DeKalb County, and soon she brought Kaylee into her home. At first, Kaylee seemed to fit right into the new environment. She settled in with ease and even developed a friendship with Susie's other pet dog. Trauma can be difficult to overcome and can sometimes take years of effort. However, Kaylee appeared to be getting better with trusting other people. Although she had a tough past, it was as if being around a good person like Susie healed her emotional wounds. They developed a strong bond right off the bat, and Susie could already tell that Kaylee would protect her no matter what. This kind of loyalty is not something that neither of them took for granted. The pair spent a fair amount of time together, and as such, Susie got used to Kaylee's habits. During one December morning, her furry friend started to growl and bark. Doing so every now and then shouldn't be much cause for concern, but the strange thing about the canine's behavior was that she wouldn't stop. Considering everything that they had been through, no wonder Susie was surprised when her pet started acting out of character. Kaylee was no longer an unfriendly shelter dog, but a beloved pet. Susie trusted Kaylee and had a feeling there was a reason why the rescue puppy she had brought home kept growling. The way the dog barked seemed alarming, as if she was trying to get her owner's attention. So, instead of telling Kaylee off, Susie put a leash onto her collar and headed outside. The mutt seemed to be barking at something outside. Once she walked towards a specific location, Susie finally understood what her new companion was trying to tell her. She realized that something was very wrong. There was a gas leak. As soon as Susie neared the area, she could smell a strong and pungent odor. It overpowered her senses, and she began to feel sick. She also heard a loud whooshing sound that was hard to ignore. Kaylee continued to bark. Susie was instantly filled with worry. Other than her own and Kaylee's, Susie realized how this gas leak could endanger the lives of everyone living in the neighborhood. She wasted no time and took her phone out of her pocket to call 911. I just don't take chances on people's lives like this. It is a dangerous situation, Susie said, looking back at her rapid decision to alert the authorities. 
Soon after she made the emergency call, DeKalb County Fire Rescue drove over to the scene so that they could deal with the potential threat. One of the key issues with gas leaks is that they can spread far and wide. The rescue team headed towards Susie's apartment complex, which was right beside the area. Ensuring the safety of this complex was of particular importance since many families lived there. Soon after the incident, the story blew up online, where many people within the county, as well as outside of it, caught word of what had happened. Susie was interviewed about Kaylee's story because so many people wanted to hear about how this miracle had come about. Kaylee was then hailed as the hero dog, not only by Susie, but by all of the inhabitants of that DeKalb County neighborhood. The lives of many people, including innocent children, were saved thanks to her heroic actions. Everyone in Deco County would be forever grateful to Kaylee. She was the shelter dog who ended up saving other people after being rescued herself. If it wasn't for the dog's sensitive nose and astounding intuition, the story could have had a very different outcome. Considering that Kaylee's story gained a lot of attention, her foster parents from some time ago ended up finding out about it too. Jacqueline and Keith were ecstatic to hear that the dog they tried to help ended up becoming a hero. They had always known that Kaylee had a good heart, and finally, other people could witness this side of her. Keith, in particular, only had good things to say about the then-famous dog. I thought it was awesome. Kaylee is a really, really good dog, and I thought that was just a nice touch, said Keith. Jacqueline and Keith also wanted to reach out to other animal lovers. The rates for dog homelessness are especially high after big holidays such as Christmas. It is pretty common to see people give a dog to their friends and family. However, dogs should be seen as more than just adorable presents. They also need to be protected. Kaylee was lucky enough to find an owner because of the efforts of her foster parents. Nevertheless, Jacqueline and Keith also wish that Kaylee's story could touch the hearts of anyone who is considering adoption. Susie sure feels that adopting Kaylee was the right choice. One of the messages that Susie hopes to share with everyone who hears the story is that animals deserve to be given a second chance at life. Going out of your way to help a dog in need may be the best thing to ever happen to you. Susie said, if you have the space, you have room in your heart to take in a needy animal to love on them. I mean, it comes back to you tenfold. Let me know in the comments what you thought of this incredible story. If you want to see more videos like this one, don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you again soon.